Hey guys, Nick here, and welcome to my Ghostbusters non-spoiler review. Um, clearly my thoughts on the brand new Ghostbusters film that just came out. Um, I saw, you know, I'm seeing it, you know, a day early, so most of you guys haven't seen it yet. Um, but a lot of the reviews have been coming out the last couple of days, and it's, it's gotten a lot of pretty good reviews. I mean, there's, there's definitely a lot of people who don't like it, but... Overall, the response has been pretty positive for a movie that's been a really the topic of controversy for a really long time. I mean, the first trailer is like one of the most disliked videos in the history of YouTube. Um, just for I think it's a lot of it comes from like a lot of like grown men who who grew up with Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters is such a close place in their heart that like they can't imagine them first of all rebooting Ghostbusters, let alone with women. And to them, I say you know get a life it's 2016 women can be ghostbusters if you think otherwise then you're a fucking idiot um i'm sorry i, I just i i don't i can't i will not tolerate sexism on my channel so if you have anything negative to say you know keep it you know smart and intelligent and not sexist or racist or anything um because it just this movie has brought out the worst in fanboys and a lot of people just feel so entitled that like oh they just they, they feel like ghostbusters is like so crucial to their life and it's like it's just a movie and for me like i didn't grow up like loving ghostbusters because you know because it wasn't my time because i was born in the 90s so that was way past my time and by the time i finally saw it like i liked it i just i didn't love it like a lot of people did so i went in this movie you know with like lukewarm expectations and plus the trailers didn't really wow me the trailers weren't really cut the best but you know the director paul feig has made good movies in the past from everything i've heard because I've, I've never seen his movies but i've heard nothing but good things about them you know so i went in you know with the optimism there i like Kristen wig um i liked you know kate mckinnon from saturday night live um i'm still on the fence about muscle muscle mccarthy as an actress because like I've never seen her movies just because, like, she as an actress just doesn't does nothing for me. Like, I don't find her like anything she's done funny, or at least the, th the things that I've seen. So going into this movie, you know, I had like a weird array of expectations. Um, but you know, after reading all the reviews and seeing like people saying like, oh, there's there's a decent number of people who like the movie, so I went in with an open mind. And Ghostbusters is not a perfect movie. Um, I liked it. Um, it has a lot of really dumb humor. Um, like fart jokes and just really like kind of really like non-intelligent humor and there are certain parts of the movie where just, it just felt like a really bad SNL skit um because they had certain actors from SNL playing like over overacted character uh, characters that weren't really character, characters they're more like caricatures um but overall I mean I had fun with the movie I mean that's really all you can ask for this is basically like, like a popcorn kind of movie like you turn your brain off just Try to have a good time and for the most part i mean i had a good time like i really like chris kristen wig in this movie um she pretty much played herself like she like, like the, the same character she plays in, like every single movie she's in but you know I, I still liked her um i really 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 like leslie jones because i was a little worried about her because i feel like the, the trailer showed too much of what i thought was racial stereotyping in the way that she was really a really loud and angry black woman and i feel like the trailers showed again just racial stereotyping i'm like i swear to god if this movie ends up being just you know the only the only black actors playing you know stereotypical black or african-american role then i'm not gonna enjoy it but it was more than that yes they had those scenes where she's like a loud and angry person but i really really liked her character in this movie and leslie jones i thought was a really like was one of the best parts of the movie and kate mckinnon as well because like she, this is like i think believe her first real you know a big hollywood movie so her coming from SNL, coming into Ghostbusters, I was like, oh, I was excited because like everything I've seen of hers, well, most of the stuff I've seen of hers from Saturday Night Live, I really, really enjoyed. So her character in this movie, like there were some things, some scenes she had that didn't really work for me, because um, she was like the most, like like most of the comic relief in the movie. Um, but I really liked her for the most part. I mean, again, some scenes were like iffy, but overall I had a good time with it. Um, Melissa McCarthy was the worst part of the movie for me. Um, just, I don't like her as an actress. I'm sorry. Um, I know there's some people that love her, and that's fine, you know. There are aspects of her character that I liked, but just in this movie, she just, she wasn't funny to me. I'm sorry. I mean, Melissa McCarthy, just there's, there's nothing funny to me about her. It's just, I don't know. It's just, I feel just, I just like she's not that great of a comedic actress, you know? 
That's why, like, everything I've seen her in, whether it's, like, bits of, like, clips from movies or, like, you know, the comedies bits she's done in the past. It's just, I mean, I've seen bits of her show, Mike and Molly, and she's good in that. Like, I'll give her that. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not trying to bash her as an actress. It's just, I'm very unimpressed with what she's done. And in this movie, she's not good in the movie. I think it was, I think it was wrong for her, for her to be in this movie. Just because Paul Feig has worked with her so many times, he's like, oh, we should bring her right over, you know, Melissa McCarthy, because, you know, Melissa, Melissa McCarthy has to be in at least one movie, one big movie a year, apparently. Um, and she was the big part of why I didn't love this movie, because, like, a lot of her lines just didn't really work, especially in the movie. Like, I really, at the beginning of the movie, I really just did not like her character in any way whatsoever. And by the end, I'm like, okay, I guess... Like, the only characters I really cared about were, like, Kristen Wiig and Leslie Jones. Those are, the two, those are the two characters I really resonated with. And then, of course, there's Chris Hemsworth, who plays, like, the dumb, you know, intern, and that's really all he was. Like, there are certain parts where Chris Hemsworth was actually, like, really, really funny, but then the whole dumb intern thing kind of, like, ran its course throughout part of the movie, so it's just... I don't know. Like, he was, he was good in the part. It's just it was a little too much. Like, we could have pulled back on it a little bit. And, um, the villain was kind of stupid, you know, it was just really cheesy and campy, you know, like, not, not a villain with, mo with really a whole lot of depth, I mean, definitely nothing like Azul from the, the original movie, or, um, I don't know, they didn't have, like, a Sigourney Weaver kind of character in this movie, it was a really dumb, I don't know, I, I just didn't like how the way, like, the, the villain character was used, and ultimately where that character ends up by the end of the movie, one of the cool things I can say about this movie is that they, they literally include cameos from every single Ghostbuster that's, you know, still alive, except for Harold Ramis, you know, you know, the actor who passed away recently, um, who was, I can't remember his character's name, but he was one of the original Ghostbusters, but in the movie, you see Bill Murray, you see Dan Aykroyd, you see Ernie Hudson, you see even, I'm not going to spoil the last one, but it's someone from the movie that is a well-known actor, so take that as it is because I'm, I'm trying not to spoil anything um but you know it, this movie again has a lot of problems the the last act well visually it looks cool like all the ghosts and stuff look really really cool like like because i've heard this movie is good to watch in 3d or that like it visually like it works a lot better in 3d so if i might i would consider watching this in 3d um just because the ghosts look really 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 well done um Except for like the, the newer version of Slimer, which I really could have gone without, because this, this this new Slimer didn't do anything at all. Except, like, never mind. I'm not going to spoil it. Um, but um, for, yeah, for, so yeah, for the most part, like this movie was really good um, at being its own thing, while also you know, built like like it definitely doesn't live up to the quality of the first Ghostbusters. But for me, it didn't necessarily have to do that because, you know, even though I didn't love the first Ghostbusters, you know, it, it was it's still high, uh, uh, up on a pedestal for me because, like, even though I didn't necessarily grow up with it, it's still one of those movies that, like, it's almost like, untouchable because it's, like, like, for a lot of people, like, it is, you know, such a great, great movie and a lot for, like, for, a lot of, for a lot of nostalgic purposes. So, for me, this one, it's a really good time. I would say go out and watch it for yourself and, you know, develop your own opinion of the movie. And don't just bash the movie just because it has four female Ghostbusters because that's just so stupid and sexist. Like, if you're going to bash the movie, bash it for, for its quality, not just, not just because, oh, it's four female Ghostbusters instead of four male Ghostbusters, which I think is the, the, the dumbest thing that's come out of this movie is the fanboys feel so entitled that they get offended by the very idea of, of women being Ghostbusters. And that's been just so annoying just to see and the racist and sexist comments that the actress has been getting, especially with Le Leslie Jones. Um, it's just beyond ridiculous, and the, like even like like when the reviews first came out, like sexist fanboys like going with like the, the female movie critics saying like, oh they're paid to you know just say things about this movie just because they're women, blah 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 blah, and, and saying a lot more offensive things. And it's like seriously, if you're that kind of person, get a life. Especially if you have kids, like what does that say to your kids? Like you're a disappointment as a, of a person if you go online bashing the idea of a female-led movie, which is stupid. Like. Ugh. Sorry, you know, you know, with this movie being as controversial as it is, you know, it had to be brought up. So, um, yeah, that's the, those are my thoughts on Ghostbusters. Um, oddly enough, I didn't think I was going to do this review, but, you know, with this movie being as controversial as it is, and, you know, I wanted to have my own my own opinion out there, and I figured, I figured you know, why not just do a video for it? So, yeah, um, that's going to be it for me. So, if you guys like what you see here, go ahead and hit subscribe below. 
Um, what do you guys think of the movie? If you guys have seen it, do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? Do you guys have a lot of problems with it? Um, let me know in the comment section below. Are you guys looking forward to a potential Ghostbusters sequel? And this movie definitely opens up the door for another sequel. So, um, yeah, that's going to be it for me. So, until next time, guys, have a good one.